located the rebel base yet? Our scouting reports are due at any moment. We believe we heard some noises we think are coming from the human boy named Jimmy Neutron in this area. That must be the area. I feel his presence. Plot a course on Earth for the town called Retroville. Aye, aye, my lord. Gotta work this time. I can feel it. Oh, darn. I was looking forward to eating that apple. I should have guessed. I needed to change the flexing code in the magnetic pulsing sequence. Ooh, that sounds complicated. <sighs> now it's sure to work. Ready to get in and give it a try, Carl? Oh, no way, Jimmy. That looks dangerous. So I think I'll head home and do some homework or something. Okay, Carl, just don't touch anything on your way out. Let's go, boy. Jump in the booth. <laughs> hey, boy, look at this foil I've got for ya. <laughs> Yay, we've done it! It worked! Just a few more parts, then I'll be able to teleport anywhere, even to outer space. That would surely get me first place in the science fair. Cool! More coal! Goddard, connect me to Vox, please. Can I help you, Jimmy? Yes, Vox. Have you patched a link to the telephone service so I can start teleporting locally? It's almost ready, Jimmy. I will display a menu inside any phone booth that shows the locations we have access to. By the way, I think Carl is touching an invention near the front door. creature back to the lab quick I gotta get my creature back to the lab quick apples help Sir Isaac Newton think better well it couldn't hurt <laughs> with any of my pets? Uh, no, Jimmy. But I, I did kind of notice a couple of Darwins and girl-eating plants walking around outside. Ah, uh, that's okay. I'll just shrink them and collect them later. Hey, have you been using my special lens spray? Yeah, but I saw something outside that looked really neat. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, you found some blue neutrons? The blue neutrons are invisible to the naked eye, but with my special lens spray, anybody can see them easily. Wow, there sure are a lot of them, Jim, and they look good enough to eat. Can't eat them, Carl. The blue neutrons are energy from my inventions. What do the red ones do? You found a red neutron? Those will be my secret to teleporting into space. Red neutrons have a thousand times more energy than the blue ones. Can you show me where it is? Uh-huh. It's in Cindy's backyard. Follow me and I'll show you. <laughs> Wow, you did find a red neutron! Good job, Carl! 
Oh, thanks, Jim. But, um, how are you going to get it without waking Humphrey? I'll move really slow. And if Humphrey wakes up, I can zap him with my handy-dandy shrink ray to slow him down. Stand back. I'm going in. Uh, I'm going to go home now anyway. Hey, hey, do you want to meet me at Retroland? I wish I could, but I've got to find the rest of the items for my project. <laughs> I had my shrink ray set on clone! Hey, new Tron, it's Benny. Nick wanted me to call you and see if you're ready for another race. Tell Nick I don't have time right now. I've got to finish my entry for the science fair. Nick says if you show up, he might give you back your Area 51 map. Hey, that's mine. I must have left it at school. Fine, where and when? Elementary school, 10 minutes. Don't be late. I'd better get your scooter module for my room. Let's go, boy. Now I can launch a rocket from a pad near home. Another successful launch. A treat for Goddard. Mmm, candy bar. Cool. Mom loves flowers. I'll collect them and put them in a vase for her at home. A treat for Goddard! A treat for Goddard! Cool! I just gotta find some rockets to launch now! with your shoes on, young man. I'd better go to school and race Nick now. I can use the teleportation booth outside to get there. Have you located the human boy? Yes, sir. He is in this area. Very well. Order the fleet out of warp speed and start the teleportation process. Bring the human to me when you get him. Aye, aye, my lord. Hey, 
you, Benny. I got here just as quick as I could. Where's Nick? Shh, keep it down, Neutron. Look, I've secured the school for a showdown with the main man himself. I think I finally have all the quirks fixed with the Goddard scooter. Save it for the race. Good luck, Neutron. <laughs> You're gonna need it. <laughs> Boy Neutron and his walking toaster. Actually, Goddard's a morphing robotic cybernetic canine. Whatever. Are you ready to see if that heap of metal can finally beat my trusty skateboard? You're in for a big surprise, Nick. We'll see just who'll be surprised, Neutron. When I count down to one, we race three times around the inside of the school. Three, two... Hey, hey, you didn't say one! Goddard, quick! Scooter mode! <laughs> Break Neutron. Here's your prize. Hey, you said if I win, I'd get the Area 51 map. You'll have to settle for my lucky baseball for now. You can get the map if you race on my turf, the dirt track outside by the football field. See me there if you want your map. Later! Excellent! Now I can use the cool Goddard baseball mode and hit targets from a distance. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
me explore this area better. I bet Libby would be grateful if I save her cat. Here, Goddard, come here, boy. Way to go, Goddard! You're safe now. Mom loves flowers. I'll collect them and put them in a vase for her at home. I could beat Nick. <laughs> Seems like your lucky day. Better head over to that dirt track if you ever want to get your map back. But I doubt you're that lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I can launch from my rocket pad on top of the school. Like this one, clear the atmosphere. Commander, I've located a fast moving object heading toward our ship. Bring it up on screen. Evasive maneuver. That's it. Get me that boy! <laughs> I bet I can hit all these balloons and get more points from up here.
Win this one, Goddard. You're not that good, Neutron. Three laps to win this one. Ready, set, go! <laughs> to show that brains and technology can beat muscle any day. You got lucky. No hard feelings, Nick. With this map, I can now go out to Area 51 and pick up the last part I need for my science project. I have more important things to do than a science project. Later, super nerd. <laughs> Benny, you here all alone? Yeah, I heard you cheated and Nick took it out on me, you jerk! <laughs> I never cheat. I won with strategy and technology. Sure, Neutron, but I'm sure Nick will want a rematch. <laughs> Mama's looking for you. Your nest is kind of far, but I'll take you there. Now the eggs can hatch properly. Goddard, we finally made it to Area 51. I think the abandoned mine is nearby. That's gotta be where those Yokians dropped that invisibility part. I finally have the part I need to turn invisible. This will get me one step closer to teleporting to outer space. Hey, what's that noise, Goddard? Oh no, I think the Yokians have detected us. Wow, they're being the abort. I better get this invisibility invention ready for a live field test. Goddard, I'll be back soon. If I've 
done my math right, I can be invisible for about 15 seconds before I drain the battery. Luckily, it should take about the same amount of time to automatically recharge. All I need to do is locate the escape pods to get back home. I think I hear a guard coming. Time to turn invisible and escape this cell. Yokian ship is rather small. One second and I'll plot the navigation triangulation to pinpoint my destination back to Area 51. All I need to do is activate this button and the escape pod will launch automatically. Mom's gotta be worried, so I'll go home and see her first. Isaac Neutron, where have you been? I need the tool chest key immediately. I don't have it, Mom, but Dad was in the garage this morning. I bet he has it. Speaking of your father, have you seen him lately? He said he was going to run some errands downtown, but that was over two hours ago. Not since this morning. He's probably at the candy bar stuffing his face. Can you get the key from him and bring it home? Sure, Mom, no problem. Thank you, Jimmy. Wow! These must be the African swallow eggs. I better collect them and bring them back to the nest. Outstanding!
I should rescue it. <laughs> Way to go, Goddard! You're safe now. What could be up there? <laughs> hey, Dad, I had a feeling you'd be here. Jim, James, Jimmy. Son, uh, what can I do for you? Mom needs the tool chest key. Do you have it? There you go, Jimmy boy. Tell Mom I'll be home soon for dinner. Hi, Mom. I got the tool chest key. Great, Jimmy. Can you open the tool chest in the garage and get me a wrench? Oh, and I left you some food on the table. Mom wanted. And look, here's the remote I lost. Now I can use Goddard in remote control mode. Yeah, a banana. Don't mind if I do. Cool. Outstanding. Apple helped Sir Isaac Newton think better. Well, it couldn't hurt. Outstanding! Mmm, candy bar! Saving up for my college fund. Saving up for my college fund. Saving up for my college fund. Here's the wrench, Mom. I think Libby's calling for you. It sounds like she's in trouble. Oh, no. My girl-eating plant must have escaped from the lab. I'd better use my shrink ray and rescue her. 
from my lab. Thanks, Jimmy. I hope that's not your science fair project. It's still not housebroken. I'm almost done. Just gathering up some last minute parts and I'm ready to go. I know Cindy's got a part you could use. She went downtown to get some purple flerk. If you buy her some purple flerk, I'm sure she trades you for it. Bye, Jimmy. <laughs> to turn the water off. Excellent! Neutron, if you must know, I'm going to Retroland to meet Libby. Can I have my grappler claw back? I have some purple flurp. Ooh, purple flurp. Uh, um, I mean, I didn't want your stupid mechanical hand anyway. And don't even think about following me to Retroland. If anyone saw us together, they might actually think I like you. I have a reputation to look after. Oh, yeah. Your little buddy Carl was looking for you at school. Be a good boy and go and find him. I have to get up there. This would be a good place to use the grappler invention.
Thank <laughs> you.